So the rings are like a, you know, they're pretty firm foam, uh, kind of like the, the tiles. Uh, they have like a smooth finish, so you know, you can squeeze them pretty easily, um, but they go back to their normal shape. Um, the diameter on the outside is five inches. The diameter on the inside is three inches. The thickness is like three quarters of an inch. And then it actually does get down to about half an inch. Um, the actual wall here is an inch thick. Um, yeah, that's the ring. Okay, so the model is 12 and a half inches tall. Um, and then two, and then the diameter is 1.3 inches at this little cap, and then it's one inch here. Um, it goes up to three inches when it's sitting on the ground, and then there's actually a lip on the inside that's half an inch. So from the actual like base part to the bottom, that's two and a half inches. Um, the diameter of the circle is eight inches. So depending on how your robot is and how you plan on pushing it, the wobble could tip over very easily. So as you can see, you know, with nothing on it, it's going to be fine. But the minute you uh, start putting, you know, up to like three rings on it, it really, uh, it just tips over. So something to note if you plan on pushing the wobble. Um, it does have a lip here. So we would recommend probably just, uh, you know, grabbing it and pulling it. That'd probably be your best bet. So. All right, so as you can see with the wobble, you know, you hit it around, you know, it does that. Um, some things to note, if you have like a flat thing pushing it, you know, it, uh, if you catch it right, it'll actually push. Um, if you push it more from the bottom, it will just like tip over. You can show that with the robot. Um, when you start stacking rings on it, so this is five rings. You know, it starts becoming a little bit more unstable. Um, if you get 10 rings, so like nine rings on it, you know, it's really, really unstable. Um, and then once you like start putting more than that, it just tips over. No matter how hard you hit them, they don't bounce back. Um, so I like you know, and then the, you know, they're pretty loose, so they're hollow on the inside. Uh, they're pretty easy to just, you know, hit. And then uh, bending it back is, you know, pretty simple. Um, so, yeah, they're hollow on the inside. They're really light material. So the hardest part is going to be actually just hitting them because the ring does fit through here. Um, so you got to get like a pretty accurate shot. But I think if you just barely make it, then it'll, it'll go down. So something to note about the different height goals, not that it would affect the game that much, is that these two bottom pieces are, so like the lower goal and the middle goal are made out of Euro board, and then the top is some like plastic cardboard material. Um, I mean, either way, they all go in pretty nicely. Um, 